Welcome to the Brian Heap Creative Writing Podcast Series. For the 2020-2021 academic year, the COVID-19 pandemic affected educational systems worldwide, and here at the University of the West Indies, face-to-face teaching was suspended, for the most part, as students were engaged online. The Philip Sherlock Center for the Creative Arts at the UE found a very creative way to engage the students of the Mona campus here in Jamaica. Students across all faculties were invited to participate in two creative writing competitions, namely short story writing and playwriting. When the results were revealed, there were three winning short stories, four winning plays, as well as four high commendation short stories. In June 2020, Dr. Brian Heap, former head of the Philip Sherlock Center, was declared the Caribbean regional winner of the 2020 Commonwealth Short Story Prize. Dr. Heap, in return, paid forward a part of his winnings as prize for the creative writing competitions organized by the Philip Sherlock Center. He was also instrumental in securing sponsorship from the Chase Fund for the production of the podcasts, and assisted in the project in different ways from start to finish. The podcast series was named in Dr. Heap's honor for his tremendous efforts in the realization of this project and his contributions to the creative arts in general on the UI Mona campus. The management of the center would like to thank the following. Dr. Brian Heap, Chase Fund, Andrew Campbell, audio engineer, and sound designer. The panel of adjudicators, Dr. Jean Small, Miss Carolyn Allen, and Mr. Michael Record. The voice actors, Twyla Whelan, Desmond Dennis, Darian Reed, Nadine Rawlins, Michael Record, Shola Collins, Shanice McCarty, Melbourne Douglas, Catherine Johnson, Sheldon Scott, Joaquin Alexander, Nora Gay Banton, John Paul Manu, and Odane Murray. A big thank you to all the student writers who participated in the two competitions. Congratulations to the winners and those who received high commendations, namely Janique McKnight, Renardo Lewis, Delano Frankson. Nakiba Bowes, Amani Uswali Nketia, Brittany Samuels, Gregory Bryce, Tashanique Wilson, Jaquan Alexander, Brittany Adams, and Brian Johnson, as well as our guest writer, Mr. Michael Record. Thanks also to project coordinator, Ms. Debbie Ann Stern, technical manager, Ms. Nadia Roxburgh, Technical Support, Ryan Essen, Graphic Designer, Daniel Wallace, Multimedia, Ishmael Preston, Mitz. Thanks to the entire staff of the Philip Sherlock Center, including our student assistants. A special thank you to all our loyal listeners for tuning in week after week to support our young writers from across the Caribbean. Theatres across the world might have gone dark, but the light rising from the West is still shining through this very creative collaboration. The final play in this current series is entitled The Squatter written by our award-winning Jamaican guest writer and playwright, Michael Record. Among his many accolades is his regional award in the 1999 Commonwealth Short Story Competition for the story, Like Smoke. In 2002, he won the overall competition with another story, The Cleaning Class. The Squatter by Michael Record. Strapper. Strapper, wait, huh? 
Who? Who that? It's me. Rory. No, 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 no. Don't turn on the light. Nobody must see me. The street light is enough. Oh. <clears throat> what time? After midnight. What are you doing here? You're not glad to see me, Strapper? Yes, but not at um two o'clock in the morning. Oh, <laughs> you get new watch. <laughs> you like it? I can't see properly, but you look expensive. Too expensive for you to buy. I never buy it. I steal it from a store on Princess Street. You have to stop the petty thief in Strapper. The next time police hold you, you're going to prison. Them can't send me to prison. Me is only 16. 16 with three arrests in three years. The boys whom them will send you to is no different from adult prison. Stop the petty stealing. You hear? That's, that's what I want to do. I'm go big time. If dads will give me a big job. Strapper. Stay away from dads. That is one dangerous done man. Dads look after all the children in Dungle Jungle Rory. Every one of them get lunch money and uh, bus fare to go to school. Yes, but you don't remember why I had to run and leave home a month ago? Crackers said dads want you killed. You believe Crackers? Yes, because Spritz confirm it. That is a hypocrite with a gun in one hand and hand out in the other. You know why dads want you dead? Don't you know? What Spriggs say? He said dads don't want no bad publicity for the community. And I was bringing bad publicity. That's what I hear too. Because I passed seven C-sex subjects. Well, it's the first time any student in the community do so well. Y'all get right up in the newspapers. That's something bad. Dad say he wants good for the community. He should be proud of me. Like mama proud. Except that is not mama. My teacher's proud of me too. The whole school. I know. But dads don't want any publicity at all for the community. The police might become too interested in us. So if I go to Six Farm and do well again then... Dads won't like it. Damn stupidness. Anyway, I don't believe it's because of my grades that dads don't want me around. No. So why you come back Rory? I need somewhere to sleep. I don't sleep for days. Oh. I saw in the papers that police evict you and them other boys from that big house in Millsboro. You don't find anywhere else from then? No. But that was three days ago where, where you've been sleeping. In the park, under the bridge, in the library in the days. But it's dangerous on the street. Especially for a 17-year-old boy. <laughs> you don't be it either, right? You smell awful. Look at the man do rape me yet. <sighs> Listen, I'm tired. You're going to give me about my bed, or? Rory, you can't stay here. That's not for you to decide, Strapper. I'm the big guy. You don't live here anymore. I take your place. I'm too tired to argue with you. But just remember, Mama is the boss of this house. She's not here now. She gone to the country to buy stuff for market. Oh, yes. Forget it's Wednesday. Oh, God. I don't sleep from yesterday, man. Rory, dads really want to kill you. I know. That's why I came here in the night. But I must sleep. Here, keep the bed. I'm really dirty and I wouldn't want to nasty it up. Just give me a sheet and, and, and your pillow. No, no, leave the pillow. I will sleep on the floor. G give me Let go. What that? N not nothing. No man, something was under your pillow. Uh, the light is so dim. Uh, oh, it's under the bed. Stra Strapper. It's a gun. You steal this too? Yes. You crazy? You thief a gun? From who? They'll kill you. I, I didn't steal it. Then we're... That's wait, give me. What? Why? I... I can't tell. Strap up. Don't tell... Don't tell me that's taking you into the gang. No. Not yet. Good. Rory. You can't stay here. Just for the night. Maybe a few nights. I'll stay out of sight. No, Rory. Dad's lend me the gun to do her job. 
and him say if I do it properly, I can join the gang. Strapper, if you join that gang, you're a dead man. You know the police after them. What else I can do? What else I can do in this community? I'm not bright like you. You got seven subjects I got kicked out of school. You're smart, Strapper. You just don't apply yourself. School bore me. Reading my head hurt. Well, ask mama to send you to a vocational school. A what? To learn practical stuff. Like woodwork and, and masonry, welding, plumbing, things like that. That's laboring work, Rory. Soup bone pay. I want lobster dinner. I know that, Strapper. But if you walk before you run, start small, grow big later. You earning big money. As soon as I get a job. Rory, the job dads give me is to kill you. What? Yes. You'd kill me, Strapper? I don't want to. You told dads that? Um. <laughs> you didn't tell him. <laughs> you didn't tell him or you wouldn't get the gun. You damn right I can't stay here. I'd fall asleep and I might not wake up. I couldn't do it, Rory. You're my brother. Kill, kill him, brother. Go back to bed. And make sure you give dads back him gun. Rory. At least change your clothes before you go. Mm hmm. You're right. And I better grab a shower. Leave the clothes in the basket. Mama will wash them till you come back. I'm going to dump them. I'm not coming back. Karin! Karin! Who that at my door? Me. Who me? Who the door? Rory? What you doing here? Can I come in? It's seven o'clock in the morning. Why you... Just for a few minutes. All right. Actually, you can stay a few hours. I'm on the afternoon shift. Thanks. <laughs> nice apartment. You said that last time. It's still true. Nice rent too. Nice high or nice low? Very high. Is it anywhere? <laughs> this couch looks great, man. Mm, comfy. How oh, you can afford this on a cashier's wage? Do you know it's not me paying my rent, Rory? I do? After we're not friends. We work close together, though. I cash the groceries, you pack them. I don't know about your home life. That time you helped me carry my groceries home, when I'd sprained my hand, you said it was a nice place and I told you my boyfriend paid the rent. I forgot. No, you didn't. You're playing fool to catch wise. Okay, I didn't. I was just being polite. Don't look down on me, Rory. Me? You earn more than me, Karine. So? Is the richer ones who look down on the poorer, not the other way around. Is wealth you use to rate people? That society's yardstick. What's yours? How people treat others. Jesus said we should love one another. You follow the Bible? Don't you? The Bible <laughs> says homosexuality is a sin. We bring that up for now. Don't you know? I think that part of the Bible is wrong. The Bible also says adultery is wrong. I know. You believe that part of the Bible is wrong? No. Am I getting too personal? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, you're more educated than me and I'm sure you're going to get a big job and earn a lot more money. <laughs> I think so too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> mm. I Wake up in the morning and get ready for touch the road. Then me turn the streets in my bakery because me have to make the door. Circle back in the evening and then me scribble down a couple floor and then me touch the road again. Strapper! 
Is you that mama? You expecting somebody else? <laughs> you come back early. You got all the stuff you wanted? <laughs> I was lucky. Margaret got everything. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to drive from farm to farm this time. <laughs> you eat breakfast yet? No. I'm just getting up. What time? After seven. Come let me cook up something quick. You have to go to school and I have to get a few hours sleep before I go back to market. Yes, mama. What do you want? Mm, cornmeal porridge with condensed milk and brown sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you get diabetes, boy. <laughs> I will work it off at school. <laughs> get the bread. Mm. Yeah, that girl in the house last night, strapper. Girl? What sort of question is that, mama? I would never... Yes or no? No, mama. So how come the neighbor heard voices in her last Which neighbor? In the house. When? I was watching TV before I went to bed. She said it wasn't no TV. It was after midnight and the TV light wasn't on. Oh. Miss Nosy mind other people's business, so Sophia. Answer the question. Strapper. Strapper. It don't matter who tell me. And I ask her to just give her eye on the house when I'm not here. It was Rory. Rory? <laughs> Wait, Rory? He didn't come back? Gone again. Then, lad, lad, why couldn't you wait till me come? He wanted to, but... <laughs> How him look? It's a month I don't see my big son. <laughs> Am I right? You see him picture in the papers, though. I don't see him in no paper. Miss Mine, other people's business, Sophia showed it to your mama I was there. She said it was Rory. The boy back was to us. How she could identify Rory? It was Rory. It looked like Rory, but it wasn't him. A mother knew her own child. You know it was Rory, yes? But you don't want to admit it because the boys were gays. That's what the reporter say. But him is not no doctor. Anyway, it wasn't Rory. Mama. What do you see when you look at him? Tell me, do you see a killer or a king? And will you show him the right way to grow? And don't you tell me he's too young to know Not every ghetto boy Wants to be a gangster No, but every ghetto boy Needs to know the answer Yeah You look like you don't sleep for days <laughs> At least Why you don't go back to bed and let me sleep on the couch till you're ready to go to work? I can't go back to bed now It's after seven What are you going to do? Oh, this and that around the apartment You must feel good you have a home Don't you? You don't read the newspapers? You didn't see the big story. Gay youths ousted from luxury home. One of those guys was you? I didn't recognize you. The photo showed only their backs. <laughs> My best side. <laughs> yeah, so, no, I don't have nowhere to live. What about your own home? Criminals take over Dunga Jungle. And my brother wanted to join them. Your brother? Well, half brother. Same mother. Why you want to be a criminal? Everybody want respect. And it's either he's too lazy to work for it or his self-esteem is really low. Haven't figured out which one yet. Hmm. Maybe both. Mm. I can't sleep on the couch. I thought you came to visit me. To chat. <sighs> I'm, I'm tired. We can chat later. Have breakfast with me. Oh? Uh, okay. What you want? Um, a mug of chocolate tea, a half a loaf of hard dough bread, and a quarter pound of butter. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> Sound very unhealthy. You wouldn't make it to my age. Which is what? 21. I'm 17. I'll make it. Unless my brother kill me. What? He want to kill you? Maybe. Can I stay here? Stay? No, Rory, you can't. You can sleep for a couple hours, but then you have to leave. And go where? I... I don't know. 
you'll be saving my life. So why Rory didn't stay? You say he wanted to. We wasn't sure when you were coming back from the country, Mama. I would be back by afternoon. Today's Wednesday. I have to set up the stall by tonight to start selling in the morning. Yes, but he couldn't stay till afternoon. You know him life in danger. Where him gone? I don't know. He wouldn't tell me. Why? You are his brother. We, we can go look for him. Mama, it's best we don't know where him is. Dads would get it out of us. He, he would touch us. I wouldn't tell him a thing. So you say no. But when you in pain... Me can't stand pain. Well, me definitely can't stand pain. You would have informed pain, your brother? I couldn't take the electric chuck and the beatings, mama. Sorry. That damn man. Here. This is yours. Just pass the two slices of bread for me. <laughs> but I uh, No, me have it with the mackerel gravy. Bread must butter. No matter what you're eating it with. So what worry say? I'm looking for a new place to stay. And him not coming back. Oh, Lord. Oh, we have to find him. He must contact your mama. You know him love you. He never contact me since him leave, do you? Give him time. You're right. He want dads to forget about him. Me such a smart young man. You don't think me smart, mama? Of course. True? You know. It's your father say you're stupid, not me. I really believe that if your father did treat you as good as Rory father did treat him before him dead, you would have been doing so well in school as Rory. I don't want to study hard like Rory and then can't get a job. Him will get a job one day. One day. Well, now that him not living in the inner city, my dress won't hold him back. That is one good thing about him leaving. Mm. Leaving also save him life. It's not my place. Maurice pays the rent. He'd never agree. Yeah. <laughs> Maurice. I did a little investigation on him. Respected businessman. Married. The wife is a teacher at an uptown school, right? How you know I'm... Everything online these days. And I bet Maurice wouldn't want the news media to hear... That him a keep young girl in a stush apartment. Rory! Not to mention him wife. And her colleagues at her high class high school. It's a church school, you know. What are you saying? And the supermarket owners wouldn't want their customers to hear about you and Maurice, right? You wouldn't tell. Not if you let me stay. Oh, God. Well? You're blackmailing me. I'm desperate. Let me stay. Save my life. When your boyfriend is here, I'll be absent. Oh, God. I'll be a respectful squatter. Sleep on the couch. <laughs> Never in your bed. No matter how hard you beg. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'll go get your breakfast. While you think about it? Yes. Good. Where's the bathroom? Gotta wash my hands before I eat. The door to the right. Respectful and clean. Wake up in the morning and get ready for touch the road. Then me turn the streets in my bakery because me have to make the door. Circle back in at the evening and then me scribble down a couple floor and then me touch the road. Strapper, you have any idea who dads asked to kill Rory? Oh, I would I know that, Mama. I hear that you and some of the gang are friends. I just talk to them. We're not friends. That is not what I hear, Strapper. I don't want you to take up with no bad company. Police shoot two of the gang already. If you hang out with them, you will get shot too. I can take care of myself, Mama. Don't worry. You? Yes. Ha! Strapper, if I didn't know better, I would have said that God don't care about the community. But I know that the government don't care. That is why they leave with a butter butter on their own. No clinics, no school, no police station. Dad's make himself the president of the republic. And him have him army. And he's only man with gun can take care of themselves. And you don't have a gun. <laughs> 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 
You're right, mama. And I don't want you ever to have a gun. You hear, Strapper? Yes, mama. All right. I will clear up. Go get ready for school. No school for you to the strapper. Come in. Close the door. We need to have another talk. Yes, Dads. Sit. You don't mind missing school. You can help me more than school, Dads. Pity your brother didn't think so. He wants to go to university, Dads. That's why I'm studying so hard. And he did good. Too good for your boy in Dungle Jungle. I know you don't like the publicity, Dads. That is not the main thing I don't like about him, Strapper. No, Dads. You know the main thing? Because he is a gay. Gay. Dads. Queer. Homosexual. Batman. I hate them. But he's not in Dungle Jungle anymore, Dads. He run away. My sources say him come back this morning. That's why I sent for you. Oh. Uh, Must buy, sir. I'm heading towards your house. I, 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 I can't lie to you, Dad. He passed by the house for, for, for five minutes. I, I was in deep sleep, Dad, and by the time I could wake up properly, he, he must gone again. Is that so? I wouldn't lie to you, Dad. It wouldn't suit you. I hate liars even more than I hate queers. He never bring them things to me, you know? No. But as you look at him, you know him gay. Or him walk, or, or him talk, or him dress. Don't you can tell, Strapper? Dads, I grew up with him. I accustomed to how you look. It sort of look normal. Him ever have a girlfriend? No, Dads. That is not normal. But you know something, Strapper? He's not him bothering me so much today as you. Me, Dads. You told me you wanted to join my organization. Yes, Dads. I said you had to prove yourself. Yes, sir. I lent you a gun and gave you a job to do. Yes? Yes. You let Rory get away a month ago and you didn't go after him. I didn't know where he went, Dads. His picture was in the papers. Newspaper reporter found him and you couldn't find him. That is not fair, Dads. It's not that they was looking for him. But his picture was in the papers and you didn't go after him. By that time he was underground again. But he was in your house this morning. You saw him. You talked to him. And you had the gun. Dads, you say no killing must go on in Dungle Jungle or stealing or rape. It would attract attention. You could have followed him go outside and bust up. I, I was... I was still half asleep. Dads, by the time him left. You know the word incompetence, Trapper? Um... Um... No, Dads. It means that you don't have the ability to do the work. I think you're incompetent, Strapper. I don't know if you'd be of any use to me. Do, Dads. I beg you. I need to earn some money. I need some clothes. I, I, I need some bling. Where's Rory now, Strapper? I don't know. Your mother spoke to him this morning? No, sir. She wasn't at home. She knew where he is? No, sir. You're sure? Yes. I think Rory will contact her. She thinks so too. If he does, you think you can find out where he is? You think you can do that? Yes, Dads. Well, when you find out, you know what to do. Yes, Dads. Prove you're not incompetent. Yes, Dads. What do you see when you look at him? Tell me. Do you see a killer or a king? And will you show him the right way to grow? And don't you tell me he's too young to know Not every ghetto boy Wants to be a gangster no. but every I can't stay here all day doing nothing, Kareen <laughs> You're tired of my 65 channel? A week of watching American Consumption just remind me I don't have anything. You think I could get back my job at the supermarket? The owners don't want to get mixed up with any scandal, Rory. I didn't cause any scandal. Your picture was on the front page with all your gay friends. We just needed a place to live. All of us get chased from our communities. As far as the public is concerned, 
They were hooligans and criminals. I've never been convicted of a crime in my life. You were squatting in the people's house. An abandoned house. I am not judging you, Rory. But Mr. Chang... He going to judge me? Even if he don't judge you, he has to think about the customers. They don't want criminals handling their food. I'm not a criminal. Yes, but... And if you really mean they don't want gays handling their groceries, there are a lot of gays handling customers' food and clothes and money and, and cars and, and... I know. I know. I'm not saying the society is right to reject gays. I'm just telling it like it is. And Mr. Chang know how it is. You know it too. Karine, somebody at the door. I hear the key in the... Karin! What am I doing here? Hide. I think I left my keys, my office keys. Where? In the bathroom. No, in the closet. But who the hell is this, Karine? My cousin. What? From the country. He came to Kingston to look for me. Uh, please to meet you, sir. Don't bullshit me, Kareen. He's a friend. Rory! Uh, what sort of friend? Not a boyfriend. Uh, definitely not. Uh, we work at the same place. Oh, uh, I've seen you. Yeah, you you're, the, you're the packer. I noticed you too. Uh, what the hell that mean? I didn't notice you. I saw you. Rory, stop it. He's my boyfriend. Sorry, sweetie. Uh, why are you friends with this type of fellow, Kareen? You mean this happy fellow? This gay fellow? We're just friends. I'm lonely here sometimes. You only come twice a week. Tuesdays and Thursdays. For exactly three and a half hours each time. And you only take her shopping once a month for exactly two hours. What the hell? Stop it, Rory. Sorry. You've been talking out my business, Kareen. I thought we had an agreement. Sorry, Maurice. Things slip out when you're talking to friends. Why you want him as your friend? Don't I am your friend? Of course. But you're serious. He makes me laugh. I make you laugh? No, Maurice. You pay the rent. How long you been here? Just a couple of days. More like a week. Good God! Was he under the bed when I was here? No, Maurice. He went out. We knew when you were coming. You're like clockwork. I just waited until he left. I have a strict timetable and there is nothing wrong with that. If Jamaicans were more disciplined... There's nothing maybe... wrong with discipline, honey. But you never surprise me. Except for today. You're not supposed to be here. Don't be feisty. I pay the rent. And you need to get the hell Don't out of... Don't get mad, Maurice. He didn't mean to be disrespectful. <laughs> Sorry again. A week is long enough. You leave today. All right. Here's the truth. Karin took me in because I have nowhere to live. But that's your problem. You can't live here. I won't be any trouble. You won't see me again. I know your schedule. It's your fault you saw me today. Listen, I come and go as I please. Eh? This is my place. You mean you're going to change your schedule? Of course not. I I have other commitments. I'm a very busy man. Well, then you won't see him again. Promise. I really need some company. Pretty please? No. Don't you want me to be happy, honey? Where do you sleep? Not in her bed. On the couch. That's all I need. He's very tidy. You can tell by the way I dress. You like my outfit? So you're a queer? And proud of it. <laughs> you know that Da Vinci was gay. Mm, who's that? He painted the Mona Lisa. Who is that? What, what I'm saying is, lots of famous people were gay. Are gay. Yeah. I sell cars to a whole heap of them. Can he stay, hon? <laughs> are you working now? No. You have a job he could give me? I'm very bright. He got seven subjects. Including five distinctions. Mm -hmm. Four more than I got. But no, I don't. You got my hopes up there for a while. A and you don't find Kareen attractive? Not in that way. That's what being gay means. But I'd be feeding you too. Look, sorry, you have till tomorrow. I don't eat much. Look how Muslim. Tomorrow, I said. Now, where did I leave my office keys? In my bed. What? I mean the coach. I put them on the fridge. Oh, Karine, see you tomorrow. Bye, hon. What now, Rory? We have to be more careful. You're not leaving? I'm going where? I don't like that man. He's okay. You love him? Well, I like him. He's mean. Not to me. And he's more than twice your age. When he's an old man, you'll be, you'll be in your prime. You think the relationship can last? I don't look that far into the future. The present have enough troubles. Like what if he come back and find All he can do is tell me to leave again. He have a gun, you know. Well, 
you'd have to shoot me. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, God. Hush, Kareen. He won't shoot me. He's not stupid. Even though he only got three subjects. <laughs> but he's disciplined. He's not more disciplined than me. You know how hard I study to get the best results in Dungle Jungle? All right, worry. I can go to university. But I'm rich. So why is he chasing me out? You're the one who lives here. And you want me to stay. You're a man. He's probably jealous. I don't want you. Ah, I'm hurt. <laughs> I thought I was sexy. You know what I mean. And I'm sure he could find a job for me. Probably as homophobic because most Jamaican men with only three subjects. You think you're smart, don't you? I know I am. <laughs> Are you funny? Everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to figure out how to live here without your boyfriend finding out. Yo, Shopper! Forward! Yell, yell. I said, call me a man. Is where you want, crackers? I get a message for you. From the boss. Dads. You want to know if you still want to work. Of course. But you don't pass the exam yet. I try. No, man, don't try. You have a job to do. You get the tool to do it. So you must do the job. But... Wait, mm -mm. Do the job. I take back your application for join the company. And give back the tool. I'm doing my best to find. If your best not enough, give back the tool. The boss say I'm losing money when the tool idle. He could have rent it out and give it to a more productive member of the organization. Tell that I'm begging him a few more. He want the job done by tomorrow night. If you fail to deliver, you will feel pain. Message received loud and clear. Y yes, crackers. Come your brother on the foot. What? Oh, all right, all right. I, I won't call him. But why? Oh. All, all right, all right. Rory, I won't tell him. Where are you? Oh, who are you? I miss you. You're... What? <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. Strapper say you and him had the talk the other day. Oh? Sorry. I, I just was so glad to hear and... Clues? Uh, all right. Uh, I'll pack some and... We, where? Crossroads? Okay. Um. When you... Uh, uh, all right, all right. Uh, Rory, I understand. No, I, I won't tell him a thing. Do I do understand why you don't? Oh, oh okay. Okay. <sighs> Love you. Later. I I'm sure that boy is somewhere around. Strapper! Strapper! Must be gone out. Who that know? Couldn't be Maurice. Rory. Rory, open up. Strapper? Strapper? Open up. What are you doing here? Open the door. Mama have a heart attack. Oh, Jesus. Heart attack? Yes, let me in. Close the door. She in the hospital? No. Then we're... Oh. You fool me. I shouldn't have left you with that gun. Move. Back. Sit down. Where oh, you fool me, Strapper? Followed Mama to Crossroads when she took the clothes. Then followed you. Clever. You're not the only one with sense, you know. So what's the next sensible thing you're going to do? Shoot you. And then... Dads will let me join his gang. He told you that? Yes. And if I don't kill you, he's going to torture me. Ah. Oh. And take away my gun. Make you feel powerful, don't. That's right. The thing is, you can't leave here. 
What 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 you mean? This is not my place, you know. I live here with two men. Two men, Rory. You don't share. And they're watching us now. Lie. One of them named Maurice and him have a gun. <laughs> where where them is? But dear. You want to go and look? Uh, so, so you can take the gun? You're smart. Them is big, strong men. So you better put on the gun before they lie. Make some noise, guys. Oh God. Put away the gun. I could shoot you. No, you can run. Put it away. Let's talk about this situation. I could get away. One of my friends probably has a picture in his phone already. The police would have found you easy. But really, you would even get downstairs. <laughs> Sit. Oh, God. What are you going to do? I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble, Rory. Yes, you are. Can I come out now, Rory? You call Maurice? Yes. Okay, come meet my brother. Hello, Strapper. She's a woman. So? Told a little white lie. There's no Maurice with a gun. He'll be here in a few. Now what the hell is going on in here? You okay, Karin? Yes, hon. And we don't need that gun. Glad to see you again, sir. I thought I told you to leave. You did. But what a good thing I was here to save Karin's life. What? I saved yours. My brother right here, Strapper, came to the apartment to commit murder. But I persuaded him to put the gun away. We might have both been killed. I wasn't going to kill her. You might have had to. If she saw you kill me. If you never come here, all this wouldn't happen. You can't be sure. Young women are murdered in their apartments every day. What the hell are you talking about? You're right. We should get back to the matter at hand. Which is, are you going to get out of my apartment willingly or do I get the security guards to throw you out? You couldn't mean today. Why not? Maurice! Somebody has to stay here with me tonight. I'm still shaking. You see? A strange man was going to kill my friend in my apartment. I'll go if you can stay with us, sir. I... I can't. Maurice, please. I can't be alone tonight. All right, Kareen. I guess he can stay one more night. But tomorrow I want you out, you hear? Maurice, he has nowhere to go. Don't be heartless. Tell me, any of those seven subjects you have... With five distinctions? ...include accounts? With distinction. And distinction in English language. I can speak the Queen's English. All right, no? all right. I, <laughs> I could use another accountant. I'll hire you, just to get you out of here. Report to work tomorrow. Yes, sir. Does the remuneration include accommodation? Uh, I have a spare room on the used car lot that you can stay in. N not tonight, Maurice. Thank you, sir. Well, what's the salary? We'll discuss that tomorrow. Now, Strapper, why you wanted to kill your brother? I told Dad. That's the Don in Dungle Jungle. I wanted to join him gang. And him say I must kill somebody. He wanted to get rid of Rory because him is gay. And him tell me to kill him. But I thought you didn't live in Dungle Jungle anymore, Rory. Mama and me still live there, sir. And dads don't want Rory to even visit. I don't want anybody trying to kill my accountant's trap, huh? You have the Dan's phone number? Y y yes, sir. Call him. I want to talk to him. And give me the gun. Gun, sir? Give me the gun or I'll call the police. He here. Thank you. What are you going to tell him, boss? That you'll never go back to Dungle Jungle. That you have a job and a, and a place to live. What about Mama? She can come visit me. And you, stay out of that gang. I don't think you may want me now. <laughs> Sir, can you help the with a job too? Uh, you have any subjects? N no, sir. Then I can't help you. If Strapper go back to Dungle Jungle, that's going to kill him. Hmm. Uh, phone him, Strapper. <clears throat> Here, sir. Thank you. Dads. My name is Maurice. I'm with two young men you know, Rory and Strapper. Right. Close enough to touch. I want to discuss something with you, important to both of us. In about an hour? Top Gun Bar and Grocery. I'll find it. Okay. Yes, me alone.
Right. Thanks, Rapa. Thank you, Maurice. Wish me luck. What do you see when you look at him? Tell me. Do you see a killer or a king? And will you show him the right way to grow? And don't you tell me he's too young to know Not every ghetto boy Wants to be a gangster No, but every ghetto What you having? Red Stripe, cold Peaches, one cold red stripe are unusual for me so, you come here often? It's my bar. Oh. oh wait, let me get right down to it. I gave Rory a job. He doesn't have to come to Dongle Jungle ever again. Good. We don't want his type here. What I want to know is, can I assure him that you have no further interest in him? Interest in him? Does he still have to be afraid? Not of me. As long as he stays out of my territory. Now what about Strapper? <laughs> Strapper is a different matter. He says you sent him I to... I sent him to do nothing. He offered to do a job. And he didn't? No. So, can he go back home? Why are you asking me? Me is not him, mother. No, but is it safe? <laughs> Probably not. I have a proposition for you. I notice you're driving an eight-year-old car. Now, suppose I sell you a three-year-old one, model of your choice, at a 25% discount. Would Strapper be safe? Why are you so worried about Strapper? He's my employee's brother. Would he be safe? Any model. As long as I stock it. All right. I'll go to your car lot tomorrow and look at what you have. It's a deal. I want you to promise me something. What? That you won't take Strapper into your gang. I don't understand why Strapper concern you. A whole heap of boys in gangs. I don't want close relatives of my employees to be involved in criminal gangs. It could affect my business. You just hired a homosexual. That could affect your business. Positively. He can talk to my gay customers. Promise me. I won't take Strapper into my outfit. Thanks. I'll tell Strapper it's okay for him to go home. In fact, tell him to come and see me. He has something for me. <laughs> I almost forgot. Is this your mean? Where you got it? From him. My gun. <laughs> my gun. <laughs> tell him to come and see me. If you want another beer, just add it. Peaches, look after my friend here. Got to go. Business for look after. Strapper, I gave you a gun to do a job. I yes, Dads. You didn't do it. But, but Dads, I explained that I couldn't find... We have this conversation already. Yes, Dad. Where's the gun? Them, um, thief it, Dad. Them? Who them? In, in, in the market, Dad. With, with so many people press, press against me, I, I don't know who. Somebody must have hit me, sir. We spoke about your incompetence already, Strapper. Gun expensive. And bullets expensive. <laughs> You're gonna have to pay me back for the gun and the bullets. I replace them. Yes, Dad. You have money? No, Dad. But if I work for you, no, I could... No, Strapper. I promise a man that I'm not going to take your hand. Why you do that, Dad? I was looking forward to... Promise who, Dad? A man named Maurice. Maurice. You know him? He... Yes. He gave me this. You recognize it? Yes, Dad. He said you... He said you give it to him. Just give him my gun. The gun that I say you must guard with your life. Sorry, dads. I... The thing is... The thing is... I can't trust your strapper. You don't do the job you promised to do. You give away my gun. And on top of that, 
You lie to me? I hate liars. So sorry. If I can't trust you, you can't stay in my community. So leave. Dad. Yes, Dad. Young Scorpion. Yes, Dad. Close the door. I promise you a job. I want you to take this gun. No, what? Th thank you, Dad. That fellow who just left the office. Strapper. He know too much. And I can't trust him. Watch him till him leave the community. Then find him and drop him. You think you can do that? Yes, Dad. You have a smartphone? Yes, Dad. Alright. Bring me a picture of the body. And I will see what else I can do for you. Alright? Yes, Dad. You just heard The Squatter by Michael Record, featuring Darian Reed as Rory, Desmond Dennis as Stropper, Shanice McCatty as Corrine, Jean Paul Menou as Maurice, Nadine Rawlins as Mama, Melbourne Douglas as Dads, Odain Murray as Crackers and Young Scorpion, a Philip Sherlock Center for the Creative Arts production. Sponsored by Chase Fund. Needs to know the answer.